I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to share some moments with you in the Word of God this morning. We're continuing a new beginning in Proverbs chapter 9. We're going to read verses 4 through 6 this morning. We read through verses 1 through 3 yesterday morning as we begin talking about the greatness of wisdom. And verse 4 continues, Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither, as for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. And we've spent a little bit of time considering the simple youth in Proverbs chapter 7. And a simple one is one who just doesn't have any sense, who is, who is kind of a blank page. And this person ended up destroying himself because he was easily influenced by the wrong kinds of influences in his life. And the Bible says, if you're simple, he said, turn in hither, take heed to divine wisdom and listen and pay attention to what God would teach you because it will protect you. And the next couple of verses speak of this. Verse 6 says, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. And there is uh, there are many verses in the, New, in the Bible that speak of this topic of forsaking the foolish and living and be care, being careful about what you believe and accept. For example, in Psalm 26, verse 4 through 6, the Bible says, I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash mine hands in innocency, so will I compass thine altar, O Lord. And the psalmist here is saying, I just don't want to go the way of the world. I want instead to follow righteousness and follow the things of the Lord. Listen to another verse on this same subject. Psalm 45, 10 says, Hearken, O daughter, and consider and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. And he's urging the, the females that he's addressing here to follow divine wisdom as well, even if it means forsaking other things or other people. Acts 2.40 says, And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. And then in 2 Corinthians 6.17, the Bible says, Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And so this whole issue of avoiding some things and embracing other things is vitally important. It's, it's really extremely important that we avoid the things of this world and, the, and the, the things that people used to occupy themselves, the occupations, if you will, of this life, the entertainments of this life, the folly of this life, of this world, that's all temporal, and instead embrace that which is valuable in terms of eternity. And that means tr real truth, real wisdom that God gives us from his word. Embrace those things and be careful about going the way of the world. The Bible says, come out from among them and be a separate, saith the Lord. And the text that we've read this morning talks about forsaking the foolish and live. You go the way of understanding, you go the way of wisdom, and you will be the benefact, the beneficiary You'll be the one who profits by that, and you will be blessed as a result in your life. will have real guidance and real true direction, and you'll have some solid things going on in your life, as opposed to the frivolity and the vanities of this world. Choose divine wisdom, and ask the Lord to lead you with his wisdom today. Spend time in God's word every day and embrace the things that have eternal value and not those things that only are fleeting and passing and have temporal worth. God bless you today.